Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Jacqueline and in today's video I'm very excited because I'm going to be reviewing and demonstrating the brand new Sky Face Brush Set by Sonia G. But before we get started and if you're new here, I please ask you to consider to subscribe to my channel and ring the little notification bell so you get to know whenever I upload new videos. Also, it will be lovely to have you visit my Instagram. And now if you want to know more about this luxury makeup brush set, then just keep on watching. So if you haven't heard about Sonia G brushes, this is the time that you really need to pay attention for them. So Sonia G, she it is actually a makeup brush collector. That is it is her passion, her main thing. If you haven't visited her, her blog, I think you should. It is a very interesting blog. She shows right there her passion about not only her own brushes, but her passion comes from many years ago, how she fell in love with brushes. And from that passion, she actually decided to start her own brand. It is a very small brand and it's called Sonia G. And she does the most amazing design brushes. These makeup brushes, they have been a game changer for my makeup application. And I was super excited when I actually follow her on Instagram and I started to see her sneak peeks for her new collection. And I'm talking about the Sky Face Set. So these brushes right here, they were just launched on Monday, September 16 on Beautylish. If you're not familiar with Beautylish, it is a retailer, um, smaller in size than maybe Sephora or other retailers, but they specialize on very specific brands. They don't carry all the brands, but they carry brands as Natasha Denona, Charlotte Tilbury too, and their customer service is just so amazing. It is wonderful from the way that they pack each item to the customer service that you will receive if you ever face an issue or you have a concern or you just have a question. They just have the most outstanding customer service out there and they are based in San Francisco. So anyhow, these beautiful brushes as well as all the rest of her collection, they are only sold are Beautylish. And now this brush set comes with five different brushes, as you can tell right here. We will go over um, makeup application with them, um, each of the brushes individually, close up of these brushes right here. And this brush set costs $270. Yes, these brushes are luxury brushes, but there is a reason why behind each of them. These brushes are all natural hair brushes. These brushes have been actually handmade. And when I'm talking to you about handmade, listen to this. We're talking about an artisan in Japan actually having each of these hairs placed by hand and then roll them up into a ferrule to the perfect shape. I mean, this takes time, this takes passion, this takes pride. And this is something that I think is priceless. If you don't know and you're new here in my channel, I am Peruvian and my culture, we have a huge um, heritage. So we come along with a lot of traditions. And I remember not too long ago, I was um, talking with, with someone and, and she obviously really appreciated my culture and had great things to say about Peru. Um, there was a moment that she said, well, they tried to sell me this textile and I'm sure that it didn't cost them anything. Referring to the price, and I was shocked that she said that, that she couldn't see the value, the time of a person actually waving this textile by hand, not only waving it, like I'm talking about doing it thread by thread. There is so much value on that tradition on part of the culture that sometimes we don't get to see. And that's the same thing that happens in Japan when they make their brushes. I also have a background of, I actually have 
and, and I still do paint a lot. I do love to create art in canvas. So I have a good background with brushes. And let me tell you, when I came across with Sonia G brushes, they were literally a game changer for me. And I was at the, at the beginning of hesitant to actually make such a big investment in makeup brushes, but I'm glad I did. Now the Sky Face set differs a little bit from her other brushes. Um, from the handle, as you can tell, they are a little bit different. So this is the Pro line, and if we go back to see her brushes, um, the first brushes that she came out with, which they were actually complementary brushes for those who are um, lovers of makeup brushes and actually have already a full collection she created the first line but as you can see the handle is different on the shape and the shape of the new sky face set it is as the ones from the pro line now as far as the color i am in love with the color that she chose this time and i think that has to be also with the price um being a little bit higher because these brushes right here just as her other brushes the handle it's made out of maple wood and the way that she created this blue black radiant look it is actually using some silver blue green micro sparkles and then it goes a glaze over top and i think she they had to use a couple glazes so that way the actual sparkles will you know like adhere well and actually i mean you will have to see them in person but when you turn them around you will see the blue sparkles but then you see these kind of like very dark um green in it as you're turning them they are just a work of art within themselves so i mean i can go on and on about these brushes now there is a recommendation made from sonia herself it is when you receive the brushes and i think i mean this should be kind of like a habit to be made when you receive your brushes it is ideally that you give them a quick wash or a little bit of a rinse so that way they actually open up a little and then you know they become to the full shape the way that they are supposed to be so what about if i bring you closer so we can start with the makeup application so the first brush that i want to use is the soft cheek brush and this brush right here is actually made of dye go hair which makes it for perfect application of mostly powder products so as you can see the brush right here it has some density but it's not super dense in a way that it will pack too much so i think this will give you a very nice airy application of any product so if you can tell on this um, soft cheek brush right here the ferrule is actually round so it's not pinch and therefore the brushes are going up this way it has a little bit of a pointy top so this brush right here I'm super excited for so I haven't set my concealer yet and for that I'm gonna go ahead and use my Guerlain Parure Gold Gold Radiance Powder now this powder right here, it is bake. Now it's not that jelly type of formula, but it is actually bake in a very hard way. And I wanna see how this brush will apply this powder. As you can see how bouncy is the brush, the softness of the brush. So I'm gonna go like a slightly and let's see how much powder did it pick up. So now if you're a person that you don't like to set your actual concealer or foundation too heavily this pressure here will help a lot because it is very airy and you see the softness of the brush what about if we set a little bit my foundation right on the areas that i have my enlarged pores i'm going to be using the same brush but in this time i'm going to go ahead and use my jouet soft focus hydrate set powder and you see how much product it picked up is very little and it's also very even so i'm gonna apply it right here on my cheeks and this brush is just so incredibly soft and you see how easy it is to move i mean it's just like a ballerina <laughs> Now, I do have here my collection that you know she gave Pro Brush right here. And as you can tell, although the same type of hairs, 
the Inoshike Pro, it has another more pointy kind of end right here on the top and also it's a lot more dense. You see right there how it's not as bouncy? This one right here, it is way more bouncy. Next brush that I want to use is the Worker Fan Brush. Now, I have been converted by Sonia G to actually use fan brushes. If you were to see my brush collection, I have no other fan brushes but only Sonia G's. I have actually that Sculpt 4 and the Sculpt 2 brushes from previous collections and then here I'm comparing it with the new Worker Fan Brush. As you can tell, the Sculpt 4 brush is a little bit more slanted and not as airy. It's a little bit more densely packed. The one, the Worker Fan Brush from the Sky Jet Set, it is a little bit more airy, a little bit more wider too and a little bit larger as well. Now, if I compare it to the Sculpt 2 brush, this Sculpt 2 brush, again, these, um, the way that it finished, and I want you to really appreciate the craftsmanship right here. Do you see how open this brush, the Worker Fan brush it is against this brush right here? It is a total different story. And now because this brush right here is made of Andai hair, these will be perfect to apply any cream products and that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. So first I'm gonna start with my Huda Beauty Tantour Contour and Bronze Cream. Do you see the amount of product that it grabs? I think you can appreciate right here how the brush is helping to contour without leaving harsh lines. You can literally go to town with these and nothing will happen. And then I'm gonna contour jawline. Now here's a suggestion for you. To clean these brushes, are, it's very easy. If you have like a microfiber type of cloth, you just go around with them and it cleans super easy. And I suggest to clean most of your brushes this way. It is actually a way that your brushes will last longer, they will not get damaged, their shape will stay pretty much intact and then you know every two weeks you can go ahead and actually give them a good wash to your brushes and I think that helps a lot for your brushes to stay in good shape and you protect your investment too. <laughs> so as you can tell I was able to take most of the product out and then I'm going to show you on the other side to see how clean it is. Now that I clean my brush, and why not, let me try to go with the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Sculptor. And let's just apply a little bit more for the fun of it. Do you see now how chiseled my cheeks are? I mean, this brush, it is just amazing. And now with this same brush, I want to use the Tom Ford the Ultimate Bronzer in Terra. Now, this powder right here, it is one of those baked gelée type of formula, and it is really hard to get product out of it. So this brush right here is excellent to pick up product like this. So if you have some gelée type of formula um, products, these brushes right here will help a lot for you to be able to actually use them. I don't find it too big to do also a little bit of like contouring or bronzing on your nose and chisel it up. And also this right here. As you can tell by the application, I still have a nice contour, a nice bronze, but it's still not too harsh, not too like lines, you know, like big lines, because this brush right here, it is so fluffy, so airy, that it is able to apply both contour or bronzer in a way that it just looks, again, airy and not just so harsh. And now let's jump into the classic cheek. Now the classic cheek, it is also undyed hair. And the ferrule is actually not pinched and it is oval. So it has an oval shape. Now on the top, it's a little bit dome and it has this shape right here. Hopefully you're able to see it. You see how it goes up and I can feel like a really nice tip right here which it feels like it could be great also for contouring and now because these are undyed um, hair I will be able to use some cream products and for that I have a cream product that I really love 
And I'm talking about the N Cosmetic blushes. These blushes right here are super pretty. And I think I mentioned that these um, blushes, they actually have some Sacha Inchi oil. I I will suggest you to do your research on Sacha Inchi oil, but it has um, really good fatty acids and omegas. So let me just put a little bit on my palm of my hand. This is such a cute bottle. It actually looks like a um, little nail polish bottle super cute and I'm gonna go okay let me show you what I'm saying about the pointy top do you see how it grab on one point so that's why I'm kind of liking about this brush because this will give you really precise application and let's just go over it but you see how it's not like overdoing it so now that I have cleaned a little bit the brush, I'm going to go into the Love Custom Palette by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm going to go into this pop blush right here. Now because the bristles of this brush are just undyed hair, it will pick up this product. This product it is actually a gelée type of formula and it's a little bit hard to pick up and I'm just going to take it a little bit on the higher points on my cheeks. And then I'm just gonna go over it right here. I usually like to put some of my blush right there. And do you see how I apply really well? Okay, now is the turn of the mini cheek brush. So this brush right here it is actually a combination of undyed hair and dye hair. So the ferrule it is kind of like a cat eye shape. Now this is such a tiny brush that I think this is perfect even for setting up your eyelids right here and their eyes and also even for contouring. So now because of the type of bristles that this brush has, I think I want to go into again to my tone 4 shade and illuminate. I want to pick up a little bit of the illuminating shade. I'm going to apply it and it's applying it super well. Do you see the sheen that it gives to the face? it will give you like a very soft application. Now with the same brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it up right here with my towel. And I'm gonna dip into the Natasha Denona Super Glow Highlighter. This highlighter is amazing. Do you see that? Ooh. Now I wanna show you how it goes on the tip of my nose where I didn't apply the Tom Ford product. And on the bridge of my nose. Do you see the type of impact that it gives you? Now I'm excited to try the Master Face brush. I actually do not have a brush for the entire face that is as dense as this brush right here. I actually love um, the Sonia G Face Pro brush. I mean, this is also a combination of undyed and dye hair as this is right here, but this is a lot more fluffy as you can tell. It is slanted and this is my favorite brush out of all of them. So to see this brush right here, it is like a big wow. Now what it says Sonia G on her blog, it says the master face is a powder foundation brush a buffer, a blender, but it can also be a bronzer and blush brush depending on the pigmentation of the products. It is a big and dense brush shaped like a bowl. And yes, it is shaped as a bowl. It actually, the ferrule, it is also round, so it opens up this way. I don't know if you can see right there. So let me try again with this Guerlain powder. And this is, again, this is hardly pressed. Oh, and yeah, it's picking up a good amount of product right there. I usually like to finish my entire face of makeup with kind of like a glow type of setting powder. And I have been trying this Cover FX Illuminating Setting Powder. Let's just pick up some. Oh yes, you can buff really well. So if you have any hard edges, which you will not get with actually using these brushes, but if you, you know, want to perfect the application, this will give it to you. I was actually a little bit intimidated by this brush because I thought, oh my gosh, this is so densely packed. It's going to pack too much product, but it doesn't. And yes, it did not disturb my foundation at all. It is just fantastic now because why not and because i don't have anything right here on my eyelids let me go with that mini cheek brush and i'm just gonna grab a little bit of this bronzer from charlotte tilbury 
and I'm just gonna apply it right here on my eyelids. Ooh, perfect. Okay, my friends, so I zoomed you out and I took advantage and put some mascara and a little bit of lip lipstick and lip gloss because I'm gonna be going out my way and I need a little bit of something something right there. And another thing that I want to mention is that I purchased these brushes with my own money. I didn't receive them in PR. In fact, I don't want this comment right here to be steered the wrong way. Um, Sonia G is a very small company and actually be with Beautylish, they have sent the brushes to a few influencers, YouTuber creators for review, but most of these YouTuber creators have actually followed them and they actually had bad Sonia G brushes way before with their own money without receiving them on actually PR. So um, this comment right here is not to, you know, not give them credit for what they say because they are actually respectful influencers and creators that I value the, your opinion in another level. But I just wanted to mention that my review right here and all what you're going to see in this video is actually my own opinion, how I will actually rate these brushes as a consumer point of view that I actually had spent my $270 on these brushes. But anyhow, going back to these brushes, oh wow, what an amazing set of brushes. These have been designed so well thought out. I read from Sonia G, she said that basically these brushes, they were thought for kind of those awkward situations that we sometimes come across with, like say you're on a trip and you don't have your perfect you know mirror or you don't have the right lighting or it's like you know uh you're at, at a hotel for example and you're getting ready for a dinner night out and again the lighting is not perfect and you have something to rely on this right here is what you can rely on i love the versatility that these brushes have from having undyed hair right here to have a mix of dye and undyed hair on these two brushes right here. The amount of bristles that they are packed, the shape of each of them, whether the ferrule is pinch nor pinch, um, the density of this brush right here is just incredible. This brush right here actually surprised me. I was going a little bit like skeptical, actually, you know, like buff out my entire face on makeup because I thought it was going to be too dense. But what a brilliant idea. And I mean, this is some, something that we need to appreciate how Sonia G is a connoisseur on brushes that she's able to think and grasp this idea of how to pack them in a way that it will give you this airy type of application by also mixing two type of hairs and dye and that I'm like, it's just, it blows out my mind, um, the perfection of these brushes right here. I think these are, and I have repeated over and over again here on my channel, your best investment, more than makeup, more, more than anything. I mean, like you're thinking about this face palette right here and then this lunch coming out here. You can use any type of makeup. Your game changer are gonna be your brushes. And you use Sonia G brushes, game is over. I mean, you are in control. Whether you are somebody that is just starting with makeup, that is a little bit shy with it, or if you have a little bit more of an expertise, or if you are a makeup artist, these brushes are just, they're just incredible. They are immaculate. Now these brushes are not limited edition, so not to worry, but she is, so did she, she just has a very small company. So she just had a, a small amount of brushes. Also think about craftsmanship of these brushes. I mean, making it the ferrule and then actually bundle the bristles and actually shape them hand by hand. It takes time to make them so they will come in a stock they will be part of the line i'm sure about it because as she said you know if there's enough demand for them then i will keep going and she never said that they were limited edition but 
as of today the brushes are actually sold out but they will come back and i hope that she will actually have them also available for individual purchase i think that will be amazing too and the last thing that i want to say is sonia g are you bringing the sky eye set i hope you do because i'm waiting here for it i'm totally waiting and i'm sure she will bring an eye set when we don't know when but I'm, i don't know I just, I don't know anything. I don't know even Sonia G in person. She has never communicated with me on Instagram or anything like that, but I think, I think this is a great opportunity for Sonia G to actually extend her line of the sky set and actually has that face set as well as some eye set. So I cannot wait for it. Again, best investment. Now my friends, let me know if you have got these brushes or not, or if you have any of Sonia G brushes, let me know what is your preferred way to use each of the brushes, whether they are from the Sky Set or whether they are from her other collections, the Pro line or her first set of brushes. Let's just start the conversations in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. You know that I always love to actually connect right there and actually have one-on-one conversation okay my friends and this is it for this video i hope you really enjoy it that you find it very informative if you did so please do not forget to give it a thumbs up share it also with somebody else that may like these type of videos and if you haven't done so yet i hope you will consider to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to ring the bell that's the only way that youtube will let you know whenever i upload new videos and once again, thank you so much for being here, for your time. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye.